Hey guys, I had a few people in groups ask me to make a video because I just got my big box of stuff for the chemistry. Um, it's WGU chemistry. I can't remember the number for the class, but it's the lab portion. So typically you take the course and the lab portion together, um, totaling five credits. It's one credit for the lab portion. All of this equipment is for the lab. Um, I guess some people do take them separate, but my mentor suggested that I take them together. It came in this pretty big box. Um, came from Carolina Distance Learning. Um, they sell, if you look at their website, they sell all sorts of um, different lab sets. It's pretty cool. You can get them. It doesn't have to be through your school. Um, just if, I guess if you're a science teacher, if you're just into that sort of thing, they have all different ones. Um, you can check them out. This is included in your WGU tuition, though, for your chemistry class. Um, it's a front and back page, the packing list. Um, and so I haven't really looked through everything. I figured I would just look through it and do my packing list check off to make sure I got everything and share with you guys what all was in it. So here we go. Um, they're separated by different sets. You can see like that's how they're packed. So I'm just gonna go down the list. The first one is the safety set, um, which has one set of safety goggles, two packs of gloves, and a lab apron. So there I've got my goggles, two packs of gloves, and a nifty lab apron. This is actually really thick material. I definitely thought that it would just be some flimsy stuff. Right, and then basic chemistry equipment set. This one is a really long one. This is probably the biggest set on here, but I'm guessing that's because you're going to use this stuff for multiple experiments. So, we have the grease pencil and plastic forceps. Um, electric pocket balance. I'm guessing that's what's going to be in it, this box. Let's open it up and take a look. Yeah. All right. That's pretty nifty. All right. Um, in here, we've also got a ruler. Um, we have... Graduated cylinder. Oh, there's supposed to be two of them. Yep, it's one down inside of the other. Um, this is a glass beaker. We have plastic, plastic cups. One second. Three-year-old couldn't find her marker. Okay, we have plastic boats. These are just thin little things. A lot of them, so don't let them get lost. We have a cardboard box. That's everything for this one. I didn't name off everything. Um, I have like the little pipettes and the small plastic cups and a tea light and little spoons. It's a lot. Let's see. Whatever that is, it's glass in the middle.
All right, this bag is the chemical set one. I'm not gonna open up and pull this bag, this stuff out, because it has baking soda in it, which during shipping has kind of busted open. So it's kind of on everything. I don't wanna get it all over the table. But in this one, we have hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, baking soda, food coloring, and straight pins. Oops, sorry, I got it off the camera. So this one's a small chemical set. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be for the first experiment because I kind of looked into the class. So I think that's what this one's for. Chemical set two has hydrochloric acid, magnesium metal ribbon, See that there? It's really thin. Um, copper sulfate, sodium hydroxide, and oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce this one. I'll let you guys read it. Maybe phenolphylaxin. Not sure. This one's a bunch of little boxes. Little boxes, little bottles. Okay, now on to the back. Chemistry modeling kit, orbit bonding set. So what I'm guessing is we're going to be building different models of things. Looks like fun. Mm, exploring physical and chemical changes. This one has sodium carbonate solution, um, sodium polycarlate, iron, and an aluminum weigh dish. This comes in like a paper envelope. This is the chemical, we have a nail, and then the little aluminum dish. So be careful, this is really, really thin, so just be careful when you're moving it around that you're not crushing it. That might not be good. Um, the next one is this box which I've already had open because I had to cut it open with a knife. It was with this really thick tape. So it has calcium chloride, which is just like a powder. It has ammonium chloride, which is also a powder. And then three styrofoam cups. So they really packed this one like they didn't want it shaking all over the place. Can you quit, please? We have a puppy and a three-year-old, and they are um, fighting over boots. Um, intro to molecular bonding, we have balloons, 25 red balloons. I'm not sure what we're going to do with these. I hope I don't have to blow them up. Um, investigating chemical reactions, we have, oh my goodness, quit. Come on, guys. Put the lid on your marker. For the investigating chemical reactions, we have lime water, um, a rubber stopper, culture tubes, mini spoon, airline tubing, um, steel wool pad, rubber bands, dry yeast, a wood splint and another size rubber stopper. You can actually see most of this through the bag. We've got the dry yeast here and the rubber stopper. We have the steel wool down here and the lime water. Um, 
18 inches of this rubber tubing. It's really flexible and soft. It's kind of like a, what I use in my aquarium fish tank tubing. And the last one is single replacement reaction percent yield. Um, so it has copper, copper sulfate solution, aluminum foil, um, a filter funnel, and filter paper. Um, they've sent everything right down to this small sheet of aluminum foil that you need. So every single thing that you need for your experiments for chemistry should be in this box. When you get it, my mentor said that they're really good at making sure that everything's in there, but they have had some cases where something gets left out. So you just want to go through, look at it, check it all off your list. If for some reason something wasn't sent, they send these nice little cards it tells you who it was packed by. Down here, it's got all the contact information for Carolina, Carolina Biological Supply Company. Um, and if you're missing something, you can just give them a call. Like I said, for me, this pack was included in my tuition. Um, I'm not sure if that's for everyone. I know you can buy these things, different kits, um, just for fun, for your science class, for whatever. Um, and that's at uh, carolina.com. So it seems pretty cool. I'm not yet on the chemistry course. I'm going to fin finish up Fundamentals of Diversity and Inclusion first and then move on to this class. I'm really excited. I'm going to do some update videos and I'll probably post some of the videos of the different experiments that I do. So if anybody has any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks.